BestBookBits.com brings you the book summary of The Closer's Survival Guide, Over 100 Ways to Ink the Deal by Grant Cardone. Learn to close and you will never be without work or without money. The most powerful arsenal of closers ever. This book covers over 120 closers, including 31 money closers, 17 time-related closers, 3 pressure closers, 3 agreement closers, 8 decision closers, and another 64 of the most creative closers you will ever find in one book. Financial closing is the final step in the pursuit of any goal. This thing called closing is not just something that salespeople do, but something that applies to every person. Nothing truly happens until you are able to engender the support, energy, and resources of others. As harsh as it may seem, the close is what separates those who have from those who don't have. This critically and vital ability is what differentiates the dreamer from the exceptional individual that makes dreams come true. The world is filled with people who have grand dreams of new products or ideas that will change the world that never become reality simply because the dreamer couldn't close others on supporting their dream. The world is abundant with grand ideas and big dreams and short on people who can close others on funding, supporting and getting behind them. It is the ability to close that makes a difference more than any other skill you will learn in life. Grant Cardone's book, The Closer's Survival Guide, is not theory of closing the deal, but exactly how to close this deal, including the 20 major rules of closing in over 120 exact closes that you can use every day. Starting off, delivery close. When would you like to take delivery of your new machine? Check close. Would there be any other changes or additions you want me to make on your machine before we come to an agreement on the figures? Scale of 1 to 10 close. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your new machine? What would make it a 10? Payment close. If the payment are not agreeable, we wouldn't expect you to buy the machine. I'm confident that our local lender can provide you with the options that will make your monthly investments agreeable and affordable. Payments to figure close. Until you and I come to an agreement on the price, the product and the terms, you would not need to concern yourself with the payments because there won't be any. I need your signature here and here. Rate close. We use every lender in the state, including every credit union. Who do you currently use? That's great. We have access to them as well. There are a couple of options in that area that are the cheaper than your current lender at this time. Sign here and here, and I'll provide you with all the best options. Worst case scenario, we use your current lender. Equipment close. Assuming we can get all the items you told me you needed and wanted, and we have the product delivered as you requested, I need your OK here and here, where I noted the changes. Title and registration close. Whose name would it be registered your new machine in? Your name, your company's name, or both? Paperwork close. Whose name will be doing the paperwork in? Spouse store close one. What if your spouse or partner says no? A, if they won't say no, good, then I need your okay here. B, if they say no, then we won't buy. Would your spouse say no to the product or the money? What about the money? The price, monthly payment, or the down payment? Spouse store close number two. I agree, and you should talk to your spouse and partner. But if your spouse is anything like mine, they would never tell me no when I love something. And I never tell her no when she loves something. I need your okay here. Spouse stall close number three. I'm with you and I totally understand. But let me say this. It's better to ask for your forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. So let's get you going right away. Sign here. Spouse stall close number four. Great. If you were anything like me, my spouse slash CFO talk about everything. In fact, my spouse slash CFO would already know I'm out doing this. Does your spouse or CFO already know you're here? Good. Then they know you're looking at this machine. They know you're considering this. They know your company needs this. Let's do this. Unavailable party close number one. The buyer agrees to ownership at figures and conditions spelled out. Delivery is subject only to unavailable parties. Approval. Is that fair? Unavailable party close number two. Does this person approve of the present situation and the cost of it? If nothing changes except for the fact that your situation is improved, certainly he or she would support you in improving your situation. Insurance close. Who will be insuring your new machine with? Great. What's their number? I will call and get your insurance lined up and transferred today. Second party assist close. Look at second party. 
At this figure, considering what you know about this product, knowing what you know about the first party, what advice would you give him about the decision to purchase this product and the fairness of the figures? Second baseman close number one. Will you be helping with the price, the down payment, the monthly payment, the paperwork, or all of the above? Second basement close number two. Did you want to work this out? It's affordable using the money. Party one has a loan. Or did you plan on getting financially involved to make this work for party one? Immediate delivery close. If there aren't any objections to moving forward with your new machine immediately, I will need your approval on the agreement. Agreement close number one. I agree it's objection one. I need your okay here. Let's do this. Agreement close number two. I agree, it's a lot of money, and I expect you know it's a lot of money before we set this meeting. I need your okay on this agreement. Let's do this. Agreement close number three. I agree, and everyone that has ever made this investment said the same thing. I need your okay on the agreement. Let's do this. Won't be the last time close. I agree, and this isn't the first time, and it won't be the last time that you spend more money than you expected to spend. I need your okay on this agreement. Let's do this. Be grateful close. I agree with you. Now be grateful that you can invest this much money. Not everyone can do that. I need your okay on the agreement. Let's do this. Congratulations, close. Yeah, I understand it's a big investment, and you should congratulate yourself for being able to make an investment of this magnitude. Not every coffee roaster can consider doing this. I need your okay on this agreement here. Do it anyway, close. I agree it's a lot of money. Do it anyway. I understand this is over budget. Do it anyway. Disease, close. I know it's more than you need, and you frankly, it's more than you wanted to spend. But sir, not it's not a disease. It's not like you're going to die from this. Let's do it. Do it for me, close. So if you can't do it for you, and you can't do it for your wife or your company, then I'm going to ask you to do it for me. I'll need your okay on this agreement here. Inventory close. Move down. Would you consider the product right under this? What would save you X, reduce the payment by X per month, or would you rather get exactly what you want and pay a little more? Would you rather get exactly what you want, sir, and pay a little more? Inventory close. Move up. Before I write this up, I want to share with you that if we move from the 800 XP to the 7000 XP, it would only be an added cost of X and would only change your monthly payment by X. Would you consider this? Selection alternative close. If the payments are too high, I suggest we go back and consider the model earlier. It won't have X, Y, and Z, and all the things that you said were important, but it would put you in a position to get what you want and you could later upgrade. Package alternative close. If you don't want to go down a model and you won't consider something one year older, why don't we move down just a package? You would only have to give up these two options, but it would save you X and reduce your monthly payment by Z. Payment breakdown close. Sir, so we're already less than $500 a month. The amount you wanted to pay. Break down the payment. The machine is $12,000 with a monthly payment of $350. The Nitro Flush has a monthly payment of $100. The upgraded motor payment is $85 and $45 for taxes. So A, we can remove the extras and the payments are only $350. B, you pay cash for the extras and your payment is still $395 which is the product you wanted plus the taxes, or C, get the extras, keep your cash, pay the extra $3 per day, and get exactly what you want. Now, personally, I would go with option three and keep my cash. Which would you like to do? Budget close number one. Everyone who buys here is over budget, but we all work it out. We have a support group that meets here on Monday nights over budget. I need you okay here on the agreement. Let's do this. Budget close number two. You can probably say that about your credit cards, taxes, car payments, insurance, house payments, groceries, restaurants, heating bill, water bill. I mean, they're all over budget and more than we want them to be. But you still do them every month. Now let's do this. Budget close number three. I understand and expect that this decision will have plenty of complaints at home and it won't be all by itself. What I mean by this is that it won't be the first purchase that is too much and over budget. I need you okay on this agreement here. Budget close number four. Assuming your house note, car note. Budget close number five. 9% of the people I work with are over budget. When they arrive here, just because you, you may have had some decisions that didn't make sense or, or made purchases that didn't really need, uh, should not mean that we should not penalize yourself today from getting the things that do not make sense and that you do need. Now let's do this. 
assume zero balance close. Your payoff has nothing to do with the value of your machine. For instance, if you owed zero on that machine, would you want zero on a trade-in? Of course not. It is not worth what it is worth and it's not going to get any better by waiting. Pay the difference between what it's worth and what you owe and let's get you the machine you want. Sign here. Payoff close. Would you agree to purchase now, assuming we pay off the balance owed on his present note using the company's rebates and discounts, or by getting the lender to carry the difference over? Neil's liquid funds will be used to reduce the amount financed on the new purchase. Sign here. Delay payment close. John will owe now, assuming we handle X and Y and set it up so John will not have any payments for the first three months. How does that work for you? Momentum close. I've put all the numbers together and this is what we can do for you. I need your approval here. Present the figures, pass the pen, and shut up. Pray about it, close. Sir, I appreciate that. I pray about every decision in my own life. Every morning, I pray to myself. How are you most comfortable praying? On your knees, sitting down, or standing up? Let's pray together. I trust that God won't mislead either of us. I'm willing to accept God's will for the both of us. Think about it, close one. Thought is instantaneous. Think of a pink elephant. Did you get the picture? Think about your house burning down. Could you see it? Good. Thought is immediate. What you need to do is make a decision. It's not think time. It's yes or no time. It's do or don't do time. I'm fine with either one. Which one is it? Think about it close number two. I understand that you need to think about it. However, your thinking won't change the fact that this product saves you money, creates cash flow, and that your company needs it. You're going to do it sooner or later, no matter how long you think about it. Let's get this done so you can think about other things that need your attention. Sign here on the agreement. Think about a close number three. Great. Do you think two or three days is long enough or would two to three weeks be better? The truth is no matter how long you take, you'll be faced with the same three questions. May I share those with you? Number one, does the product get what you want? Number two, can you afford the product? And number three, am I the kind of person you want to do business with? If yes, sign your name on the agreement and let's do this. Think about it close number four. Great, most people want to take the time to think about their decision before making decisions. Let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being ready to buy, where would you be? Think about it close number five. I understand and as a consumer myself, I've said the same thing. At which time I, A, didn't want to confront the salesperson. B, I didn't want to disappoint the salesperson. And number C, there was a concern that still hadn't been addressed. Which one is it for you? Shows understanding and empathy. Represent, close. Take a look at this. I want to show you how close you are to making the wisest, most practical investment of your life and re-demonstrate the benefits of owning this machine. Apology, close. I really need to apologize for you for not being able to come to the terms with you. Can I ask you, was it, was it something I did? I tried really hard, but was it something I failed to do? No. Then allow me to get the machine ready for you versus going home or having to go through the process of looking for another solution. Come on, let's do this. Refuse to believe close. I refuse to believe that you aren't going to do this. It's the right machine and the right product. The price is great and I know you want and need it. Now let's do this. Can't quit close. Sir, I'm not going to quit on you. You're either going to buy from me or I'm going to call you every day until you do this. This is the right thing. It's a great deal. I'm the right company. I will take care of you better than anyone else. I just want you to know up front that I will not quit. I can do it now or I can come back and do it later, but I'm not going to quit on you. Three yeses close. Did I answer all your questions? Were we easy to get to you? Am I the type of person you feel comfortable serving you? Good. I, I need you okay on this agreement. Referral close. Before we get involved with the figures, who do you know that may be in the market for a machine like this? Someone that is interested in X, Y, and Z similar to you. Down to the penny close. We are within X per month of getting you exactly what you want. In comparison to the price and the length of time you will own this, X is a minuscule amount. Let's do this. Reduce to the ridiculous close. $1,000 a month, that's only $30 a day. We're going to be using the machine every week, every day, in a place where you already eat, sleep, and breathe your business. You will create thousands of dollars in more cash flow and be able to grow your business. All for what? $30 a day? Come on, that's ridiculous. Let's do this. Better to live rich close. 
It's better to pay a little extra and get what you want than to pay a little less and make a mistake. It's better to live rich than to die rich. And trust me, you're going to die. Let's do this. I need your approval on the agreement here. Can't take it with your clothes. I agree it's a lot of money. But let's face it, you can't take it with you. Let's do this. No shortage of money clothes. I agree it's a lot of money. But there is no shortage of money on this planet. There is no shortage of money on this planet. Now there's a shortage of people that are happy, who have the things that they want, and who love their lives. Now let's do this. Reason to buy clothes. May I ask, are you looking for reasons to make a decision today? Or are you looking for reasons to not make a decision today? Good. What are the reasons to do this? If I could, would you close? If I could handle every objection you had, if I could handle and get every request you've had, would you make a decision to invest in this machine? Eleventh inning close. What figures in turn would be necessary for you to say yes to this investment? Justify close. How do you justify an investment of this size? PM. Would there be any reason you'd change your mind about the decision? Any reason you wouldn't be able to come in and sign the papers tonight? At 7? Everything the same close. If everything were the same, which product and who would you rather buy from? Why else? Money equal close. If the money was the same, which product would you rather own or who would you rather buy from? Copy close. Customer asked for a copy of the contract. While I was making this copy, I realized something is not right here. If everything was right, you would be asking me when we are shipping, when we are installing, when is the training service. You wouldn't be asking me for a copy. What's not right? Paperwork close. Whose name will be doing this paperwork in? Your name, the company's name, or both? Important person close. Due to your stature and influence in the town and our industry, we are going to do something special for you that we don't normally do. Present the offer. Third party close. If I can get the seller to agree to what you're asking, would you agree to close now? Sign here and I'll see if I can get the seller who will agree. Treat yourself close. Of course it's a lot of money, and this isn't something that you do every day. Treat yourself. I need you okay here and here. Work hard close. I know it's a lot of money. I, I know it's more than what you wanted to spend, and this is why someone like you who works so hard, so that you can scale your business and get the things you deserve. You deserve it close. I know you're over budget, and the fact is that you deserve it. And if you don't deserve it, then I, I don't know anyone who does deserve it. I need your agreement here and here. The discount close. Price is too high. And that's exactly the reason why you should do this right now. And you should get it for yourself and start doing this and enjoying this right now. Summary close. Let me remind you of what we are going to give you here. Summarize one, two, and three points. I need your approval here and here. No equity close. Customer. I don't have the money right now. Would you agree to owning your new filing machine? Assume we can arrange financing with no money down. If so, I need your approval here and here. Ben Franklin close. I understand how hard it is to make a decision. And it is said that Ben Franklin, one of our founding fathers, when faced with big decisions, would write out the pros and cons of the decision so he could get an accurate evaluation of the right thing to do. So tell me, what are the pros and advantages of this purchase? What are the cons? Write them out. If the pros outweigh the cons, we do business. Comparison investment close. Let's compare what you have now to what you are moving up to. The reality is that right now you pay $2,600 a month and your payment is going to go to $5,000. The payments double, but you get a new neighborhood, safer neighborhood, newer home, and all the appliances for $80 a day. Same product close. Customer, I have a better price from your competitor. Okay, which would you rather own if the money were the same? Why is it that? Why else? Recap all the reasons I need your okay here on the agreement. Let's do this. Let me tell you why it's more money. Recap all the reasons and close. Same product, there's close. Which would you rather own if the money were the same? The competitor? Really, why is that? Extract all the reasons. Good, follow me. I want to show you something. Present a new product, customer currently on wrong product. Now and later close. Customer wants to wait. Excellent. I would consider waiting for a decision like this too. Let me suggest that I show you the cost of doing it now versus the cost of doing it later. The cost now is $85,000. 
The cost later is approximately 6% more with the new price increase this spring. That cost equals another $5,100 and a monthly cost of $600 that you don't need to waste. Not to mention, with this new machine, you and the company and your customers would be benefiting without paying the extra cost of waiting. Look, let's do the smart thing. Sign here and here. Flush the objection close. If everything were right, would you make a decision to purchase the product right now? Yes. Okay, so what's not right now? Is it the price, the financing, the product, the terms? Is it me or the company? You knew that before. Yes, sir, I agree it's a lot of money. And you knew that before you got here. Now I need your approval here and here. Gratitude close. Yes, sir, I agree it's a lot of money. Be grateful that you and your company are in a position to consider this product. Be grateful because there are businesses right now shutting down their doors and people right now that don't even know where they're going to get their next meal. They'd love to be in the position that you are in right now. You are able to do this. Your competitors can't. You deserve it. You've worked hard for this. Be grateful that you can do this. Sign here and here. Unwind close. Customers changing their mind. No problem. I tell you what we can do. Let's just put this off. Let's put it off the idea of making a decision for a while. How does that feel to you? Feels good, right? I go through the same thing with myself. I know what I want. I go out and find it. When it comes time to make a final decision, I get scared every time. I get scared I'm not doing the right thing, that maybe this is the wrong time. It's wrong time and that it's too much money. Tell me this. Do you really believe that this machine satisfies your needs? Number two, is this machine affordable? The big question on number three, is it time for your company to expand? Yes. Good. Sign here. And here, let's just do this. Wait close. Certainly you can do that. Let me just share with you what's happening when you wait. Number one, you and your company still need the machine. Number two, it's costing you not to have the machine. The cost alone over six months will be X. Number three, nothing changes when you leave here except prices go up. So let's do this now and you have many other things to get your attention on. Sign here. Value exceeds price close. Customer, competitor is cheaper. I understand and I assure you that there is a great difference between what I deliver and what my competitor delivers. Once you see, you taste what that actually is. You will see that I actually offer more value than what they're presented to you. And once value exceeds price, I think you agree that price is no longer the, is the issue. Sign here and here. Three agreements close. Do you agree that this is the right product for you? Do you agree that sooner or later, your company will have to make this purchase? Would you agree that we have already serviced you? Good, then let's do this and you know it's the right thing to do. Minor point close. Do you like the color? Do you like the size? Can you see yourself using it daily or weekly? Let's get this wrapped up. I need you to sign here and here. What taught you that close? Can't afford it? Looked shocked. What taught you to think like that? You can do anything you want to do. You can afford whatever you want to afford. You're capable of doing anything and everything that you choose to. That's not that's not you talking to me right now. It's got to be someone else. Who taught you to say you can't afford it or that you need to think about it or I can't do that? That's not you. Come on, let's do this deal. Sign here and here. Able close. Sir, forgive me, but when you say that you, you can't do it today, I've got to tell you, are you shocking me? I, I'm just shocked. You, you're one of the most competent most able, most intelligent people that I've ever sat in front of. I have people that don't have near your capacity, near your wherewithal to purchase this machine every day, and they do it. Now, come on, let's do this. Sign here and sign here. Intelligence close. Customer, I need to think about it. Sir, you're one of the most intelligent people that have ever sat across from me, and you know that you have a lifetime comprised of intelligent and well-thought-out decisions. This will be another intelligent decision. Now, let's do this. I need your signature just here. Do the right thing, close number one. Stall. I want you to do the right thing. And if you don't think it's the right thing, I certainly don't want you to do it. I want you to do the right thing as I trust that you are a person that prides himself on always doing the right thing. If this purchase doesn't fit under the right things, then I don't want you to do it. But I don't believe that to be the case. Let's do this. If you think it's the right thing, if not, tell me what is not right. Do the right thing, close number two. I want you to do the right thing, as I trust that you're a person that prides himself on always doing the right thing. You've built a life of right actions and right decisions. If this investment doesn't fit under the right things, then don't do it. Now let's logically look at this so you can make the right decisions. Let me ask you something. 
Give me one reason that makes it the right thing to do. Reason, it's the wrong thing to do. Go back and forth. Boom. Close the deal. Scarcity close. As you're aware, this is a limited availability of this machine. There is a huge demand for this product. And I want to ensure you that you are able to get what you want. So let's get the paperwork done so I can ensure that you are able to get the one before the shipping container fills up. Let's do this. Takeaway close. Let me suggest that you don't do this right now. But if you come back tomorrow, take some time, take the night to think about it. And if you come back tomorrow, if somebody already steps up and the machine is spoken for, you would have to take it as a sign from the coffee gods that it wasn't meant for you. Sit back in chair and wait. First or last close. The reality is that you're either going to buy this now or you're going to buy this later. But you know that you need this and you know you're going to do it sooner or later. The, the question is, do you want to be the first to do it now or the last to do it? Do you want to do it now or do it later? You know what? Let, let, let's this. Let's make you the first, not the last. Sign here. Sooner or later close. The reality is that you're either going to buy this sooner or later and you know it. You need the machine. You like, love the machine. You can afford the machine, so let's do this sooner rather than later. Let's get this done now. Done and over close. Of course you could wait. You don't have to make a decision right now, but I want to get it done now and over so you can put your attention on the things that are most important to you. I need your signature here and here. Never the best close. There is never a best time to make the decision, as you always have things going on. Now let's do this now. You're going to do it sooner or later. Let's get this handled so you can start benefiting from right now. I need your signature here and here. Won't allow close. I understand your position. However, I cannot allow you not to own this product. It is the right thing for you and your company. I would never mislead you. It's the right thing to do. Let's roll. Ownership close. John, I'm putting your name on this. I will not let someone else get this product as I know it's the right thing for you. I know it's perfect for you and that you're going to do it sooner or later. How did you want to pay for it? Contribution close. While you alone are making the decision, I want to share with you that your decision does not affect just you. It also benefits others when you say yes to doing this now. Your purchase goes a long way to helping out a lot of people. Listen, I know you like the idea of contributing to others. I need your approval on here on the sales order. Personal favor close. While ultimately it is your decision, I would ask for you to consider one other thing. The fact that you would do this now would be a personal favor to me as I certainly benefit. I need the help right now and it would be greatly appreciated by me and my family. Would you please do me a personal favor and agree to doing this now? The beg close. I'm begging you to do this now. It will make all the difference to me, to my family, and it will make a difference to my month. I need your help. Sign here and here. The game close. I'm asking you to do this now rather than waiting. We are playing a game here, and your decision today will go a long way to my team, which you're on, by the way. Winning the game whereby we all benefit in a big way and we beat our opposing teams. I'm counting on you as a team member to make sure we win the game. Be on our team. Help us, please. Win. Sign here. Commission close. Any more of a discount will result in me not getting paid on this transaction, and I know you don't want that. What remains as a profit is actually my commission. Come on, help me out here. I'm working day and night with the only small hope that if I work hard enough, I might get where you are one day. Sign here. Leave it up to the bank close. It's obvious you were concerned about the money. Let me suggest, since money is the issue, we leave it up to the bank. If the lender approves the deal, and I know they won't approve it if they don't think you can do it, then we do the deal. If not, then no harm done. Sign here and here. Let's leave it up to the lender. The puppy dog close. Let me suggest that you don't take delivery and try it out for a month. At the end of the month, you decide whether it's the right thing to do or not. If you decide it's not, then ship it back and no problem. Feel, felt, and found close. I appreciate the way you feel. I felt exactly the same way until I found out that the price isn't getting any lower. We don't have more inventory coming in that there is never a better time. Quality close. I know it's more money than you considered. I know it's more money than your business partner considered. And I wouldn't expect that is exactly the same thing that happens to both of you when you buy any products. It is obvious. You are the people that exemplify quality. You buy quality goods. You live in quality. 
you wear quality and you know that quality products cost more than other products. Now let's get this done so you can start benefiting from it now. Future day close. Since I'm unable to get you to do this today, can I at least get a commitment and an agreement from you that you would do this with me at some time in the future? Price guarantee close. Since price is your only concern, I'd like to personally offer you our price promise guarantee, which if you were to leave here set up with our product and find a better price from anyone, we will match that price. This is our way of giving you the assurance that you are getting the very best price. Since I have now resolved your concern about money, I need your signature here and here. Now or never close. This is the offer I'm making for you right at this moment in time, and it's now or never offer, as I will not be able to make it available tonight, tomorrow, or even later today. Because we have an incentive available to us right now, I'm able to offer you this right now. And John, it expires when you leave here. Look, let's do this so you can take advantage of the incentives I'm being provided right now. Done everything possible, close. I've done everything possible. Get more, done, close. Store, John. The sooner we get this done, the more you'll be free to get other things done and the more time to concentrate on those things that have not yet done. Let's do this so you can get on with doing all the other things that require your attention. Handshake close. I know it serves your needs. You know you can afford it. It's only a matter of time before you do it. Let's get this done. Reach out with an open hand and shut up. I just want to quickly pause this summary and just want to take a moment to say thank you for watching and listening to this summary. We have currently uploaded more than 600 free video and audio written book summaries at Best Book Bits. We'd love for you to become a fan of us at bestbookbits.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Spotify or wherever you listen to our podcast. You can also help keep Best Book Bits financially alive by checking out our products and services out in the links below and show notes such as our physical books, downloadable PDFs, subscribing to our newsletters, consuming to our courses, and joining our coaching programs. Thanks again for being a fan, and on with the summary. Additional service close. While I've done everything I can do for you on the money, I'm willing to offer you additional services beyond what we and I would normally commit to, like annual free service checks, personal visits, retraining, and instructions for your new hires and new users of the machine a weekly slash monthly call to make sure you're getting what you need from your investment, but what I need from you is a signature here on the agreement. Pressure close number one. Are you pressuring me? No, not yet, but trust me, I'm willing to resort to pressure to get this done tonight. I need your approval here. Pressure close number two. You pressuring me? Please don't confuse my enthusiasm, my insistence, and my confidence in my proposal with pressure. I'm confident that this is the right thing for you to do. Now let's do this. Pressure close number three. Are you pressuring me? Not yet, but don't think I won't resort to it. If you prove yourself capable of not making a decision, not doing the right thing for your business, not doing it tonight, don't think that I won't resort to pressure. Now, come on, man. Let's just do this. Rash decision close one. I understand the reality is at this point, it would be impossible to consider any decision you made rash. You and I have met on three separate occasions about the proposal. You, your staff, and my people have spent hours considering all the possibilities. Sign here. Rash decision, close number two. I agree. I never make a rash decision. Saying yes right now could not be considered rash or snap. You have needed this product for years now. At this point, it's not only a rash decision, it is the most reasonable, logical, and frankly, the only decision you can make. Sign here. Nothing to do with decision. I hear you and I agree. But the reality is, there are only a few reasons you won't do this today, none of which have anything to do with your ability to make decisions or your concern about rash decisions. May I share them with you? Number one, lack of confidence in the product. Number two, price or the terms are not right. Or number three, you don't have confidence in me or my company. Which one is it? Either way, close. I understand, but either way you're making a decision. You'll need to make a decision to continue with what you have or make a decision to get what you deserve. What I mean is, either way, you will spend money. All decisions cost money. The question is whether you're going to reward yourself with something that you need, you want, and that you deserve. And that's a wrap in the book summary of Grant Cardone, The Closer's Survival Guide. If you like this summary and want to download the PDF summary, click the link below in the show notes to access this. If you want to become a contributor to Best Book Bits, become part of the community and help read books, 
create summaries and do audio recordings, email me at info at bestbookbits.com or DM me on Instagram at bestbookbits. You can also join our free book club at Facebook in the link below. And if you want me to do a summary, connect with me on Instagram, DM me, email me info at bestbookbits or comment below on the book you want me to do a summary on. Hope you got a lot of value out there. Go out there, use some of these closes. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye now.